Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make Muddy Buddies, also known as Puppy Chow, but don't feed this to your dogs. It's really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. This recipe is actually printed on the back of the Chex box, which is really awesome. And you could use either rice Chex or corn Chex if you like. Again, really easy to do, simple ingredients, if I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below, you'll find the list of the ingredients and their amounts. Start with your rice or corn chicks. And there's a couple different flavors. They have standard rice corn chicks. They also have chocolate flavored and peanut butter flavored rice chicks or corn chicks and measure out about nine cups worth. It's just, it's about a cup shy of the whole box. And now I'm gonna set this aside and in a medium sized microwave safe bowl, or you could do this in a pot on the stove top. Add one cup of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you could use dark chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips, totally up to you. One fourth cup of butter, use salted or unsalted butter. And then one half cup of peanut butter. And you could use natural peanut butter. I have a recipe on how to make your own peanut butter if you want. Up there in the eye, you'll find a link to that homemade peanut butter recipe, or you could just use the standard store-bought peanut butter, whatever you like to do. You could use almond butter too if you wanted to. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt this in the microwave or on the stove top. Start with bursts of 30 seconds. 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir, until it's completely melted, all right? On to that step. And once the mixture is melted together, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we'll stir that in. All right, great, fantastic. And now I'm going to transfer these checks to a larger bowl. It just makes it easier to mix everything. I normally would just use this bowl, but I wanted to keep those checks in that glass bowl just because it looks nicer on camera. All right, and now it's really easy. We'll just pour this chocolate mixture in here. Make sure to use your spatula to get it all out. And then we're just going to Stir and coat the cereal in the chocolate. You don't want to be too firm with it because you could break up those that cereal. And you can kind of see where the term muddy is coming from, right? The chocolate is the mud. And if you find that you added a little bit too much cereal, you could always just melt some more chocolate and put it in there. It's not gonna be that big of a deal if you need to add a little bit more. This doesn't have to be super precise. Once you have the cereal coated in the chocolate mixture, you could put it in a bag and then add the powdered sugar and shake it or just come in and add the powdered sugar to this bowl. And this is between one and a half and two cups of powdered sugar. And then we're just gonna keep stirring and make sure everything gets coated in the powdered sugar. And that powdered sugar is kind of gonna, it's gonna stick to the chocolate and make it so the chocolate isn't sticky anymore. It just makes it easier to handle and gives it a nice little flavor. And if you don't have powdered sugar or you don't wanna go buy it, you can make your own homemade powdered sugar. If you look in the right hand corner, you'll find I click on that, you'll find that recipe for homemade powdered sugar. 
If you had a lid for the bowl, you could put it on. This doesn't quite fit, but you get the idea. And just shake it. Which is pretty much the same thing as putting it in a bag. And then what we're left with is what we call here in the United States, Muddy Buddies or Puppy Chow. Again, don't feed it to your puppies. <laughs> and it's just really awesome, really quick and easy treat to make. Now you could add nuts to this mixture. You could add like different colors of and flavors of M&Ms. A lot of different things that you can do. And then you can just transfer it to a nice serving dish like this and you're good to go. And that is how you make Muddy Buddies or Puppy Chow. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah, mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm.